Hello, this is Snipers227 here. Um, back with another tutorial for uh, uh, DirectX C++ Windows 32 uh, programming. And uh, in the first tutorial, we went over the basics of creating a window, the while loop, uh, setting up the Windows class and everything, setting up the window. And this tutorial, I'm going to optimize the code so it's less chunky because, like, as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff. And um, if I if it's uh, if I get it done like really fast, then I'll probably uh, get into direct uh, 3D in initialization. Um, so the first thing we I'm gonna say is uh, we're gonna use classes. So if you don't have previous knowledge of classes, um, I'm not gonna go into that much. But um, yeah, you should have basic knowledge of how to create a class in uh, C++ and how it works, pointers, stuff like that. So you're going to make another header file. I'm just going to name this one d3d init for direct uh, 3D initialization. And then you have to make the corresponding source file for that too, d3d init. I'm just going to include obviously d3d init.h and this one though we're going to include main.h so now since we're going to use directx 3d we're going to have to set up the project so it works so it knows where all the um, libraries are so go to project uh, project properties go under vc++ uh, directories click this and you're going to get uh, this huge thing, just go to computer, gonna go to program files, and we're gonna find Microsoft SDK Windows, or is there? Sorry, wrong one. We're gonna find there, Microsoft Direct X SDK June 2011. If you haven't um, downloaded it, I'll probably put the link for the SDK in there. You install it, and then you just go to the include folder, select that, done and same thing except for the lib folder except uh, we're going to instead of include we're going to go to library um, let's see Microsoft Direct X SDK lib and x86 even if you're running a 64-bit uh, computer which I am uh, select the uh, 80 or uh, 32 bit version which is x86 uh, because I tried selecting the 62 or 64 bit version and uh, got some errors so after I selected the 32 bit one and it worked so that's all we need to do uh, also just gonna quickly go to linker or linker input and we're just gonna put since we're gonna use DirectX 9 I believe we're going to put d3d 9.lib. I think that's the name. Just going to double check here. d3d 9.h. Yep. So let's put that semicolon and add this to main.h. So now we can start making the class. So we're going to make the class obviously d3d init. And public, which is going to be used publicly, so it could be used freely. Uh, we're gonna put, we're gonna first of all, we're gonna. I said we're gonna optimize it, so we're gonna make it. We're gonna make this disappear, and we're gonna make this chunk disappear. So all you'll have left is two lines, and then this, so it's less chunky. So. I'm just going to copy these parameters and we're going to, in here we're going to make an int uh, window class creation and for the parameters just put that semicolon, another one is window creation again these parameters semicolon and we're good, now go to the CPP and sorry not void int <coughs> and 
D3D init, so the class name first, double uh, colon, and then Windows class creation. Put that, and all we're going to do is take this right here, cut that, we're going to paste it into here, and we're getting error for that, so um, just copy that, go into see this is a perfect example of uh, when we could use uh, the extern function so see over here in a different source file it needs when proc but um, we can have it two places at the same time so we could use extern uh, and then the function name so now we'll just wait for that to disappear see now it knows that's being used in multiple files so it's going to disappear and then the second one, we're going to do d3d init and window creation. Uh, oopsies, just copy this. <coughs> and we're going to copy the window creation code, which is basic. And we're going to need, actually, I don't think we need that. No, we do not, because again, we use the extern window handle, so it should automatically recognize it because it's being linked to d3d init, which is being linked to main.h and all this in main.h. So now we're just going to create the pointer, so we're going to call those, we're going to call these two functions here where they were originally but it's not going to be a huge uh, chunk of code it's just going to be two lines which is going to represent all of this and it'll make the window run so in main.h we're going to do d3d init which is the class name then we're going to do d3d which is what we're going to call it uh, put a star equals null Let's use. so right here I made a pointer and my bad, I forgot to include uh, d3d init. So this is a class name. So this is a class name, and then this is the name we're going to use for the pointer. The the pointer's name. I'm just going to set it to null. And now to call it, we put the pointer name. So d3d put an arrow, and then first we're going to call the class creation, and then that's followed by the windows creation and it's, oh yeah, I have to fill the parameters because remember we set this so we just put again age instance age previous lp cmd line and, and cmd show and do the same thing for this one So now we made it more efficiently. So you can, as you can see, instead of that huge chunky code we had before, we just have two lines. Then we have a while loop which we need, and this makes it more efficient for reading. Because after we're gonna have to use the main dot uh, win main a lot more, so it's gonna mess with. Uh, if you had like a bunch of code, it's just gonna mess you up because you're gonna be reading through lines of code. You're gonna be trying to find errors gonna try and f uh, finish a couple of things but you won't be it'll be easier basically to go through so we're just gonna test it make sure everything went right and it works so just run it what is going on for some reason it's been very slow I don't know if it's because I'm saving the other tutorial there or it's usually not this slow um, building slowly sorry about that and oh we got a warning 
Oh, it does not return value. For obviously, it's an int, so I forgot to return value, but it still starts. But just to make it safe, go over here and just return. And now we should have no warnings when we compile it. It still ran, but I just don't like warnings being there. Unless I can't solve them, then I leave them there, but this one's an easy one. It's because it was an integer and we forgot to give it a... We forgot to return a value. So, just gave us a warning sign. Slowly again. It's compiling. And... It's still gonna run the window. There we go. And it's still all the same. And you know what? Since we have time, I'll just throw in a, another quick thing. Um, define, and we're defining something. We'll do. Sorry, my computer's like and screen went blank for some reason screen width and we'll put that 800 and screen define screen height 600 and now we're just gonna go back here when we, where we create the window and just put screen width screen height I just like doing this because it will be useful again. Spelt height wrong. Run it again, just to make sure. Always got to run it. And you know what? I guess I'll do DirectX uh, or Direct3D initialization in the next tutorial. I'll just add this as in part two or add on to the first tutorial since it's pretty short and pretty basic, straightforward. But yeah, next tutorial we're going to start off with direct uh, x9, just initialize it so that instead of having a plain gray window we could get direct x uh, initialized and connected to our window and then, ooh, my bad, where is this, uh, first video is done, um, and yeah, so that's when we do a second to or a third tutorial, I guess. And yes, as you can see, it ran perfectly fine. And I should probably name it tutorial. Yeah, tutorial one. Yep, that's it. So again, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll put. I guess I'll post the source code below and the link to the DirectX uh, SDK. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions or uh, if you guys have any, I don't know, comments or concerns, uh, personal message me if you have any questions. Uh, but yeah, see you next time.